We're following a developing story out of Center City. A two alarm fire has sent one person to the hospital and caused damage to legendary music business Philadelphia International Records on South Broad Street. Action News reporter Brian Taff is live on the scene with further details. Brian. Good morning, Walter. A small army of fire crews remains on the scene at this hour, trying to extinguish any hot spots and otherwise prevent any sort of rekindling of the fire, which broke out here shortly before 7.30 this morning. This building is, of course, so well known here in Philadelphia and so prominent nationally as the home of the Philadelphia International Music Company and Gamble and Huff Recording Studios. The fire, which was under control within one hour's time, started, we're told, on the third floor of the building. The heart, as it turns out, of its long history. We caught up with Chuck Gamble, the executive vice president of Gamble and Huff Recording, and the nephew of Kenny Gamble, the founding figure in that company, who explains just how significant this place is and how devastating this fire could end up being. Uh, this building's got a lot of his historical background. Uh, it used to be called Cameo Parkway Records years ago. And so this is where the Orleans, the Dovells, and many others uh, recorded here. And so we've been in this building since 1971. And, of course, so many hits uh, from the 1970s recorded here inside this building as well. Uh, crews are well aware of the building's history, and as soon as they arrived on the scene, they took every step possible to try to uh, contain the damage. In fact, they are moving certain historic artifacts, even as we speak, into uh, rooms they, they have deemed safe now and free of any hot spots uh, that might rekindle this fire, as mentioned. Uh, in terms of what caused it, uh, speculation at this point, but a lot of people who were on scene uh, early on here, the first responders say they saw perhaps four or five people running from the building today, and fire officials do tell us one person was inside the building. Uh, despite the fact that it was locked up when they first got here, that person has been taken to the hospital to be treated for injuries and is said to be non-cooperative with police, and so there are suspicions, certainly among the family here, uh, that arson. Uh, may be a factor uh, in this fire. And of course, the family wanting answers today very much and to get inside and survey the damage uh, for themselves. We are live in Center City this morning. Brian Taft, Channel 6 Action News. Walter. All right. Thank you, Brian. Action News.